Join us in building a more fair and transparent future. Visit ParticiaBlockchain.com. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. Here we are in Davos at the World Economic Forum at Blockchain Hub 2022 with the founder of Blockchain Hub, Matthias Rusch, who is also the founder and CEO of Crypto Valley Venture Capital and Crypto Valley Labs. Hi, Matthias. Hello, very nice to be here. We are organizing um, three days of programming around the topic of blockchain. If you look around the streets here in uh, Davos, this year's World Economic Forum, I think it should be rebranded as World Blockchain Forum. Really? So okay, tell us a bit, how was it the last time you were here compared to this year? And you can see that, you know, the, uh, the amount of blockchain and crypto pavilions and people walking around interested in the topic is increasing from year to year. You recently issued a new report called the African Blockchain Report um, that you spoke about this morning at a conference. Why don't you give us some highlights? So um, we launched our strategy into Africa uh, last year together with the State Secretary of uh, Economic Affairs, the Swiss government, with the plan to invest in 100 startups in the coming four years. And um, today we are happy to launch the Africa Blockchain Report, which takes a closer look into the potential of Africa when it comes to blockchain. Numbers regarding funding, numbers regarding the number of startups, the number of investors, uh, about the regions and uh, the regulatory framework in these regions. Number one, we all know about the great economic potential uh, of uh, Africa, uh, the demography, a young uh, economy that still has a room to grow. Number two, the rise of technology. And if you zoom in, you can see that blockchain has had even greater uh, growth the past 12 months. And the third is the rise of venture capital. The amount of money that gets into uh, the African continent is unbelievable. Just to give you a staggering number, in 2020 to deploy 1 billion USD in, on the continent, it took one year. Last year, seven weeks. Wow, that's amazing. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, the rise in interest of the sustainability goals? Well, ESG and SDG are main topics for almost any use case that you can tackle with blockchain, right? And you maybe to take a step back, the use cases of blockchain do more cater to the needs of countries in Africa as they do here in Switzerland. You know, we don't have a problem with financial inclusion. Everybody of us has uh, a bank account. We have ATMs. If we buy a house, there's a land registry that I can trust. I can trust in the voting uh, election process of my government. These are all things that are not necessarily true for other countries. And with blockchain and use cases tackled with blockchain, you can actually really be sure that you have transparency, that the data that is entered on the blockchain is immutable. So t let's take the land registry, for example. If you have a startup like House of Africa that we've invested in, in Ghana, that gives you the opportunity to have your data registered on the blockchain, which is immutable and reflecting the ownership of a land, this is a big step for someone living in Ghana. Definitely. Can you differentiate uh, blockchain and crypto? Because a lot of people still think it's one and the same. Thank you for this question because that's really important. Bitcoin introduced this idea of blocks and chains and uh, because of that people still think it's the same, but it's actually not. Cryptocurrencies is just a use case based on blockchain technology, right? And But with the technology itself, you can do much more. So we, we invest in the picks and shovels of the space. So we do not invest in cryptocurrencies, but we invest in founders, real people, that develop products and services based on blockchain technology. So last word, you are the author of the yearly blockchain top 50 CBC report. Every year, we um, uh, create a ranking, the top 50 uh, Crypto Valley companies, based on a set of criteria, where you get a deeper insight into the Swiss um, uh, blockchain ecosystem. What a lot of people don't know is Switzerland has the largest blockchain hub in the world. It's over 1,200 companies, 6,000 employees. And just to give you another staggering number, the market cap of all the companies in this report is over half a trillion USD. Thank you so much, Matthias Rusch, for decrypting a blockchain and blockchain at the World Economic Forum. And see you next time for another interview at Blockchain Hub 2022 Davos. Bye, everyone. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.